guys, what uh, is it like now, kind of being the, the veteran in the room, the older guy with all the other house linebackers? I mean, obviously it's kind of weird because I had, you know, Beal, six year, Nolan, I uh, had Adam, I had Nolan. All those guys were older than me or at the age that I was right now when I came in. Um, but right now it's just embracing that role and trying to help the young guys. When we talked to Nolan at his pro day, he said he, he's been in your ear telling them you, know, you got to keep everybody in line. Uh, uh, what lessons have you taken from guys like Nolan and the way you just want to lead that group? You know, just being there for the young guys like they were for me. Um, they were there for me and helped me get through all the times you guys are freshmen because that's a long journey to where you get to in the playing shape. What, what have you seen from some of those young guys, specifically Darius and CJ that are in their second season here and now? Um, you know, just trying to uh, sharpen the iron, you know. Um, he's not a freshman anymore. Um, you just got to gotta step up in the role that you're not a freshman anymore and there's no excuses for you. What kind of questions do you get from the younger guys, the freshmen? They come to you and say, hey, what about this or that? Maybe not even football related, but, but off field. What, what kind of things are they asking you right now? Um, just how we um, run the defense mainly. Um, because we got an extensive playbook. Um, it's not easy to learn the playbook here. Uh, it's a really hard playbook, and you have to be mentally strong to be able to play in this defense. Um, you know, and always the off the field stuff, because they're coming from high school. They're supposed to be in high school right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're just trying to use the college way. So what was most of the difficult part about this defense for you to learn when you were in their, their shoes? Uh, you know, the coverage, because uh, I mean, we're outside linebackers, we like to rush the passer, mm -hmm. but also you have to be able to cover in this defense. How big of a challenge is it you guys losing two guys like Nolan and Robert and, and losing guys to step up, uh, guys like that that have been around uh, going on in the NFL? I mean, obviously it's a bunch of experience that you've lost, um, but that's just part of it, the next guys to step up. How much do you feel like you grew over last season with getting a chance to get a little bit more playing time and being out there? I feel like a whole different player from getting to the end, um, from Oregon to Ohio State to TCU, just like a whole different game. What uh, ways do you feel like you grew over you know, that stretch of time? Comfort, um, just being in the defense and uh, not really seeing the big picture, but looking like into the year um, job. Marvin being out this spring, obviously he's somebody that y'all are looking to, to step up. How have you seen him, uh, you know, stay engaged, stay involved with, with the position group? You know, just trying to learn as much as he can. Um, trying to be dual, um, knowing Sam and Jack, trying to know all the checks, um, trying to be mentally prepared. What about with Jalen, sort of a similar situation? Similar, yeah. Trying to outside linebacker, inside linebacker. I know you guys go up against the tight ends a lot. Obviously, we know about Brock. Um, what, what have you seen from Oscar this year as he's trying to step into that second tight end position opposite of Brock? You know, he's a great player. Um, he's able to do good in the pass game, run routes. Uh, he's got speed to him. And he's getting better in the run game, um, being a better blocker. What areas of your game are you, do you feel like you're really focused on this spring? Ways you want to get better before the season? Uh, being more fluid in my coverage. Being more fluid in my uh, coverage and also just perfecting pass rush. Uh, what have you seen from Darius this spring, his, uh, his second year in the program? I mean, obviously his speed. Um, he's a real sp good speed guy. Uh, he's able to cover like a DB, um, obviously because he's a star at some times last year and brings a lot of experience and coverage to our room. Uh, what about CJ, his, uh, another year? Uh, what, what's standing out with him? You know, just getting better and better. Uh, <coughs> more reps, the more comfortable you get, the more comfortable you get with our defense, the uh, better plays you make. No one kind of uh, blew everybody away by his performance at the combine. Was that a surprise to you, or did you did you see that kind of uh, that that kind of uh, athletic achievement from him? We all kind of expected it here. Really? Uh, yeah, we knew he was fast. Uh, we knew with the proper training, and with you know with Nolan's mindset that he was going to do that. Have you have you ever did you ever race Nolan and put him? <laughs> 40 yards or 100 yards? Or no, I, I'm just keeping 10 yards with him. I'm not going to beat him 40. What have you seen from Gabe so far going through his first spring? You know, a uh, really physical player. Um, he get, gives great effort every single play. And uh, what about Sam? 
I mean, same thing. All these guys are giving great effort right now. Um, it's just getting the playbook down and be more comfortable in our defense. Chad, as you go against the offense so far in spring, what's the most exciting aspect of uh, what you're seeing? You know, the offense, you know, it's going to be some different plays um, because Bobo is now the offense coordinator. Um, so, you know, you're not seeing the same things you saw last year, so it's a different challenge and a greater challenge. How much more comfortable do you feel with Coach uh, Stare and, and just having a year of working with him and sort of knowing what he's expecting to see? You know, he's, he's a player coach because um, he did it. He played four years at Colorado. He was a great player himself. So he gives you the tips like a player to player would, and it's just a great experience. Have you ever seen any of his film? Of I have, yeah. What, what are your thoughts on what he did back then? I mean, he was a really athletic uh, edge rusher, you know, out at Colorado. Um, and he was a really good player. The amount of continuity that these assistant coaches have, only one leaving in Bobo, being from within, what does that do for y'all as players um, to, to have a group of coaches that you know going into spring ball? You know, it brings comfort to all of us because um, it's not like you're having to learn a brand new system or uh, not knowing what's going on uh, in the offense. Uh, What's uh, Brock like this spring versus, uh, you know, last couple times you've gone up against him in different seasons? You know, what's uh, what's he looked at now that he's competing for the job? Uh, Brock Vandegrift? Yeah, I'm sorry, Brock Vandegrift. Uh, I mean, obviously, he's a great quarterback. Um, all our guys in, our, in that room are great quarterbacks. They all have the arm. They all are smart. They all have the ability to run with the feet. Um, it's just a great competition right now. Do you, uh, do you guys, uh, the, the defensive legacy obviously pretty impressive the past couple of years and had two championships. Uh, it, carrying the torch, is there, is that a motivation? How do you all handle that? You know, we have standards. Um, you know, nobody runs the, deep, runs the ball on us. Nobody gets past third downs on us. Nobody gets in our end zone. You know, that's just what we hold to ourselves. Um, anything less is not good enough. Is three feet written anywhere or verbalized in any way uh, over, over there in the football? We're just trying to get ourselves better right now. In spring, we're just trying to get ourselves, um, trying to get reps, trying to get better within ourselves right now. Any more for Chaz?